You've seen the headlines. Scientists made human eggs from skin cells and turned them into embryos. These functional eggs that turned into embryos could open the doors to new infertility treatment. What happened? Scientists at OHSU in Portland published a paper in Nature Communications on September 30th, 2025, talking about a process that could allow people to have genetically related children in the future in a way they can't today. Before I tell you exactly what they did in the lab and what they published in the paper, I gotta take you to biology class for just a second. Every cell in our body carries our genetic code and most of it is within the nucleus on structures called chromosomes. Remember those X's from biology class? So all the genes line up and our genetic code is on these chromosomes within the nucleus of every cell in our body. Even though every cell in our body has our genetic code, only gametes or eggs and sperm cells are able to reproduce, replicate, and pass on the genetic code. That is because egg and sperm cells are the only cells that are able to go through something called meiosis, in which those pairs of chromosomes split apart so that each egg cell and each sperm cell have the chromosomes, and when they fertilize, that genetic code comes together. So the only way we can pass on our genetic code are with gametes or eggs and sperm that can go through meiosis. Those are the only cells in the body that can do that. You run out of eggs, diminished ovarian reserve, menopause, after cancer treatment, etc. you are not able to pass on your genetic code. The scientists at OHSU found a way to work around this limitation and opens up the doors for the potential of future fertility treatments. What they did is they took the nucleus out of a skin cell and the nucleus out of an egg cell. They took the nucleus from the skin cell and put it into the egg cell and watched that egg go through meiosis and split apart the chromosomes in order to fertilize with a sperm. So that egg was passing on, not the genetics from the egg, but the genetics from that skin cell. The scientists report that actually very few of the egg cells were able to function, but they did have embryos that were created and got to a mature stage called a blastocyst. And they tested the chromosomes and the genetic code from these embryos and they were all abnormal. So this is not ready for prime time, but this is fascinating and it's the first time it's been done in humans. You can learn more about exactly what was done in the lab the future implications for fertility treatment and the ethical considerations that we have to think about in my interview with one of the scientists from the paper, Dr. Paula Amato, in episode number 146, The Brave and Curious Podcast. Listen anywhere you listen to podcasts.